Which is a stronger RF radiation emitter? A smart meter or a cell phone? PG&E tells us that a cell phone emits a thousand times the RF that a smart meter does. Let's check that out. Here I measure RF pulses on three single smart meters, each for one minute. One minute, seven pulses, radiation peaks above 200 microwatts per centimeter squared. One minute, 71 pulses, radiation peaks above 300 microwatts per centimeter squared. One minute, 156 pulses, radiation peaks above 40 microwatts per centimeter squared. Now, some cell phones. Who's this? Hey, don't interrupt the rapid process. I'm being filmed right now. Oh, actually, while, while you're there, I might as well cast the news on first hand. 003 is as low as my analyzer goes. Pardon? No, actually she said um, what we need to do is, is grind flaxseed. It is one of the freshest and purest forms of uh, these omegas that we can find. Not much. Are you retrieving data? I believe I am, yes.
Not much. Hi. Hi, this is Matilda. So, um, this is uh, another another try. So, so what is so Bob? So Bob, did you see X Case Gate? Good question. Yeah. Did you see? With the car? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Wait, is it a new one today? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, really? I, I haven't seen it yet. Did you look at any Scandinavia in the world comics? <laughs> oh. <laughs> a cell phone inside a building emits higher RF levels. Still, once connected, LOSAR phones find the lowest possible level for the call and smart meter pulses are still well above the levels of this cell phone. Here is an exception. Watch this iPhone user's RF levels. And, uh, you accessing data at the moment? Uh -huh. Okay, it's quiet now, huh? It's about to... Yeah, the page pulled up. I was uh, reading news. Okay. The page just pulled up. Oh. Some hefty bursts there. likes to live dangerously. iPhone. RF levels well above 300 microwatts per centimeter squared. Comparable to a smart meter, but not a thousand times the peak RF.